Solving radical equations. As we have learned, to solve radical equations, we have to follow three steps. The first step, let me write down three steps here first. The first step is isolate radical. Step number two is square both sides, right? And step number three, once you solve for the variable, then you should check for extraneous roots. Right? You need to reject them. So these extraneous roots should be rejected, right? And then write down your solution. So these are the steps which should be followed to solve any radical equation. So let's follow them one by one. So first part is isolate radical. Radical part is square root of x plus 2. So we'll take away x from both sides. And so we get square root of x plus 2 is equals to 4 minus x. Now we can square both sides. So when you square both sides, you get x plus 2 equals to 4 minus x whole square. Now this can be expanded and then we can solve. So we have x plus 2 equals to 4 minus x whole square is 4 square which is 16 minus 2ab which is 8x plus x square. So let's bring all the terms together on one side and then solve for x. So let's bring them to the right side rearranging variables with highest degree to lowest. So we get x square here minus 8x minus x plus 16 minus 2. And that gives us x square minus 9x plus 14. Now we can always factor this equation. Product is plus 14 and sum should be minus 9. So the two numbers are x minus 7 and x minus 2. So that is equal to 0. Now that gives us two solutions, right? So now let's check for the solutions. So let's perform the check. So we have two solutions which are x equals to 7 and x equals to 2, right? So first we should check and then only we can write down our answer, right? So let's substitute 7 in the equation. What do we get? We get 7 plus square root of 7 plus 2. That gives us 7 plus square root of 9. That is 7 plus 3 and that is equals to 10. Well, that is not correct. So, so that is not the solution, right? What we are looking for is 4. So this is not the right solution. Now let's check the other root which is x equals to 2. So if I write 2 here I get 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2. That is 2 plus square root of 4 and that is equal to 2 plus 2 which is indeed 4 and this solution is correct. So this one is extraneous root. Right? And therefore, we can write down only one solution and the solution is x is equals to 4. And that is how we have to solve these equations. I hope that makes things absolutely clear. So go through it once again. So first step, as you have seen here, is isolate radical, right? So first step is isolate. Second is square both sides. And third is check the solution. Once you have checked the solution, discard the extraneous root and write down your solution. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.